Hi everyone, Talha Parkar this side from Havish M Consulting. In uh, continuation to the training that we had on Saturday, uh, there was one thing that was not working on the Microsoft pa PowerPoint version that you guys have at the DS Group, which is the 2013 version, which was transparency uh, when working with images and videos. So I'll just show you a short demo. So I found a way. So there is no direct option to reduce the transparency for a video. For an image, there is one way that we did in the training, but I'll just show you an alternate way in which you can do the same, reduce the transparency of the image or the video that you want to have as background. So I'll just go to insert. I'm using the same practice file that we had, images and video. I'll just go to insert and I'll go to my folder where I have the image downloaded. So this was the image that I had downloaded. I'll just insert that image. So I want financial performance noida plant as my uh, title. So I'll just, uh, you know, ready put that put that out for a second. I'll drag it onto the screen later on. I will just fit this image to the slide so that it is a perfect match on the backdrop and there we go I'll just drop this down as well I'll send the image to the back of the screen right now what you have to do is you have to go to insert and then you have to go to insert shapes and then just select a rectangle since there is no direct way to reduce transparency what I will be doing is I, I am adding a shape rectangle on top of my slide so I added an image and on top of that I am adding a shape I will make the outline of this to be a no outline because I don't want any border for the shape and the shape will, will be a lightish grey right and then I'll just do a right click and I will go to format shape at the bottom like we do for all shape formatting options and once I am in format shape and I go to fill I can go to the transparency option at the bottom right corner under the fill the last option right and I will just uh, increase the transparency to maybe for let's make it 50% for now right I'll just zoom out so that you guys can see and then I will drag this title on top of the screen and I will okay so my title is on top of the screen yes it is I just select my title and I will increase the size so that it's bold and clear and visible to everyone okay I'm not able to select my title just give me a second okay it's behind oh, okay so my shape is also uh, sent to backward so I'll just send my shape not to the back I want my shape to be on top of my image so I did a send to backward so at the background last layer is my image on top of that is the shape and on top of that is this text box text box right and you see how uh, clearly you can have a beautiful title for an financial performance noida plant with an image backdrop right you can change the font you can change the layering you can play with the size but this is how you do it you add a shape similarly for a video as well I will insert a video now I'll go to insert I'll go to pictures I'll go to this device because the video is saved on my device I'll go to practice files okay I oh, okay sorry I will go to insert then I'll go to video on the right I'll not go to pictures um, for the picture I go to picture for inserting video I'll go to video and then I'll go to this device and once I'm here I will select the counting money visual that we downloaded from pexels.com if you guys remember uh, similar thing I'll do here I will first send this to back so that I uh, this is my last layer on my slide so now when this is my last layer my text box is on top of it right this fit fits perfectly uh, I will do a I will go to insert and again I will insert a shape a rectangle and once I insert that rectangle I will make sure it fits the slide perfectly I will go to the shape format at the top 
and then I will go to shape outline and make this a no outline which is already selected by default but still you need to ensure that you have a no outline then I go to shape fill and then I'll do a light gray color right now my text box is behind behind my shape so I'll click on the shape and then I'll do a send to backward so that my text box which is another object comes ahead right I'll place my text box in the middle I will go to fill in format shape and I'll go to solid fill you select the shape then you go to solid fill and again here also I'll make the transparency maybe 50% or 60% in this case right this looks much better and when I increase the size of the font maybe the color a bit I'll change the color I would want it as a black maybe so that's something that you'll have to work around choose a color that fits perfectly on your slide and does not you know hinder the backdrop and voila I will just go to slideshow mode and when I play the slide the video is in the background I added a shape on top of it and you can clearly work with transparency in the 2013 version as well thank you